96-year-old woman gets duped out of $5,000. She fell for a phone scam. And that's not even the worst of it. Jennifer Hoff is here tonight with her story. This poor woman got tricked twice. Yeah, a double whammy yeah. of sorts, right? The scammers told the Cowlitz County woman the money would bail her niece out of jail. Little did she know, though, the grocery store employee she went to for help would deceive her, too. We're going beyond the headlines with advice so this doesn't happen to you. Phone scams are common, but not for this woman. I feel violated. The 96-year-old didn't want to be seen, but agreed to talk about the hoax that hasn't ever happened to her before. And I am so sorry that there are people in our society who take advantage of people vulnerable as I or of anybody. The woman described the frantic call she got from someone claiming to be her long-lost niece. I, I'm in trouble, but I knew I could count on you. A fake police officer even got on the line to demand she get $5,000 worth of prepaid cards at her local Safeway and call him back with the numbers. The cards didn't work, and I checked with police who said the grocery store employee never rang up the purchase. Rather, he pocketed the cash. Common sense flew out my mind. I just got off the phone with the Better Business Bureau. I asked spokeswoman Sophie Deister about the trick named the grandparent scam. What are some warning signs that really stand out that folks should be on the lookout for? Yeah, I think there's several things that if you hear this in a phone call, you should be suspicious. Key points include the caller's location, whether they're really in trouble, and if they ask for money to be wire transferred. What are some good tips that people should keep in mind? Deister says to confirm where the person is calling from, stay calm and never give out your personal information. It's a lesson this woman learned and wants to pass on to you. There were many things I could have said to deter all of this as it progressed. Now, she learned that this call originated from Toronto, Canada. I also found out that that Safeway employee is facing charges, but officers can't find him right now, and we'll keep checking on that. Uh, as for the elderly victim in this case, maybe the silver lining in this is she got all of her money back, which oh, is great. pretty rare in cases like this. You know, Ann and I were talking. What makes her sick about this is the fact she not only was ripped off over the phone, that store employee then ripped her off. Yeah, like that I just said, just a sick. double whammy, a purely coincidence. And I assume she's still a little frightened because she didn't want us to show her face. She's a yeah. smart cookie, though. She is on top of <laughs> things. She has notes it. and everything all on, uh, ready to go. So. All right, Jennifer, Thank keep you. us updated. We'll do yeah.